Once upon a time, there lived a wise Zen master known for his profound insights and gentle demeanor. People from far and wide sought his guidance, hoping to find clarity and peace in their tumultuous lives. One day, two men arrived at the Zen master's humble abode, their faces filled with curiosity and uncertainty. The first man, with a furrowed brow and a troubled expression, spoke first. I'm thinking of moving to this town, he said, his voice heavy with apprehension. What's it like? The Zen master regarded him with serene eyes and asked, What was your old town like? The first man's lips twisted into a grimace as he recalled his past. It was dreadful, he replied, bitterness seeping into his words. Everyone was hateful. I hated it. The Zen master nodded thoughtfully, his gaze unwavering. This town is very much the same, he said softly. I don't think you should move here. Disheartened, the first man left the Zen master's presence, his hopes dashed by the unexpected response. But as he departed, another man stepped forward, his face radiant with hope and optimism. I'm thinking of moving to this town, the second man said, his voice tinged with excitement. What's it like? Again, the Zen master posed the same question. What was your old town like? A smile graced the second man's lips as he reminisced about his past. It was wonderful, he replied, his eyes sparkling with fond memories. Everyone was friendly, and I was happy, just interested in a change now. The Zen master nodded, a hint of a smile playing at the corners of his mouth. This town is very much the same, he said, his words filled with assurance. I think you will like it here. With a heart full of hope, the second man thanked the Zen master and ventured into the village, eager to start anew. As the days passed, the two men's experiences in the village unfolded in stark contrast to one another. The first man, burdened by his pessimism and preconceived notions, found himself surrounded by hostility and resentment at every turn. No matter where he went or what he did, the shadows of his past loomed large, casting a dark pall over his present. Meanwhile, the second man thrived in the village, enveloped by the warmth and kindness of its inhabitants. Every smile, every friendly greeting reaffirmed his decision to embark on this new chapter of his life. He immersed himself in the rhythms of village life, forging meaningful connections and finding joy in the simplest of moments. In the fullness of time, the two men found themselves standing once again before the Zen master, their paths diverging in unexpected ways. The first man, wearied by his struggles and disillusioned by his experiences, sought solace in the Zen master's wisdom. I don't understand, he confessed, his voice tinged with regret. I thought this town would be different, but it's just like my old town. The Zen master regarded him with compassion, his gaze filled with understanding. The world reflects back to us what we carry within, he explained gently. If you harbor bitterness and resentment in your heart, you will only see darkness wherever you go. But if you cultivate love and gratitude, even the bleakest of landscapes can be transformed into a paradise. With these words, the first man bowed his head in humility, recognizing the truth in the Zen master's teachings. Slowly, he began to release the burdens of the past, opening his heart to the possibility of a brighter future. Meanwhile, the second man stood before the Zen master with a radiant smile, his eyes shining with gratitude. Thank you, he said simply, his voice filled with sincerity. This town has brought me so much happiness, and I am grateful for your guidance. The Zen master returned his smile, his own heart overflowing with joy. You have discovered the secret of true happiness, he declared, his words echoing with wisdom. It is not found in the external circumstances of our lives, but in the way we choose to perceive and respond to them. By embracing each moment with an open heart and a grateful spirit, we can transform even the darkest of nights into the brightest of days. And so, the two men left the presence of the Zen master, their hearts forever changed by the profound lessons they had learned. In the years that followed, 
they walked their respective paths with newfound clarity and purpose, guided by the timeless wisdom of a humble Zen master and the boundless power of the human spirit.